Welcome back to the channel of Coach Emrethic. Today I will show you three key points to do the goal serve like Maling. This serve is the most amazing trick serve in table tennis. I also show you the best way to return this tricky serve. What is goal serve? Goal serve is considered as a tricky serve with heavy underspin. This serve is the trademark of Maling. There are two types of serve in table tennis. Tricky A serve and setup serve. Chinese player focus more on setup serve because at the high level, you can't win the game by just using A serve. Ghost serve is the trademark serve of Mali because he has the greatest touch in the China national team. Pen holder has also the advantage over second player because of more freedom in the wrist movement. The way that pen holder holds his rackets allow him to freely use the wrist. With Liu Kuoliang, Ma Ling is the best server in China team. He used a lot of fake motion after the serve. That's why his serve is so tricky. So when people talk about Ma Ling, they think of his serve. And if we talk about Wang Hao, we think of his beautiful reverse backhand. For Zhang Zikue, it is his solid physical strength and the explosiveness. For Malon, it is his super consistent and powerful paw hand. So every player has his own specialty. It is because of their micro adjustment. If you don't know what micro adjustment is, Look above for my explication. Practicing goal serve is the best way to improve your feeling and learn how to impact the spin into your serve. This serve is not very effective in the real match. For your match, focus on setup serve, add side spin to control the placement. Watch my video how to serve shot with side spin for the reason behind. Since then, Ma Ling just won a few points with his ghost serve. The most famous one is this point with Zhang Zikyu. Now, I will give you three tips to do this ghost serve. Using these three tips, you will know how and when to accelerate the ball. First, to do this goal serve effectively or another serve in general, you should hold your racket loosely. Look how Zhao Montero hold his racket. Put your thumb higher on the rubber, hold at the side of the blade and vertical like the pen hold. Holding the racket like this will increase the freedom of the wrist. This is crucial because you want to accelerate and spin the ball with your wrist. Second point, this point is very important. Put your elbow close to your body. To serve effectively, you need a quick acceleration and short movement, explosiveness, unlike another shock like forehand loop, which require long and full movement. A good serve requires short but quick movement, so you don't need to use forearm here. Put the elbow close to your body to stabilize the shot. Amateur players don't know this important point, so they can't accelerate into the ball correctly. Where to contact the ball? The contact point is very close to your body. The closer you contact the ball, the easier you control it. 
New player tend to contact the ball too far from the body, and then there is not enough spin in the serve. The two rotation axes are first your body. You must rotate your body to add spin and power to the ball. Rotation from the body also controls the trajectory of the serve. If you want to serve short, rotate your body a little. If you want to serve longer, rotate more. If you want to serve to the right side of the opponent, rotate your body a semicircle. If you want to send the ball to the left side, rotate a full circle. Please remember, don't use the forearm, fix the elbow and the forearm. It is your body rotation that controls the length and the direction of your serve. This is the key point of a good server. Because with a little change, rotate more or less, you can suddenly change the direction of your serve, surprise factor and quality factor. Body rotation is the first rotation axis. The second is your wrist. Wrist is where you accelerate and make the ball spin. Wrist movement is very fast. With a wrist, you can't make a spin serve. Again, don't snap with your forearm around the elbow, but use your wrist. Explosiveness all comes from the wrist and body rotation. We don't need your forearm and elbow in your serve. And my third tip is to make this serve tricky at fake motion. That means after you contact the serve, move your hand up like you are making a top spin serve. Maling always at fake motion after the contact point. You should also do a psychology game. Before doing this ghost serve, save some top spin serve with a clear up motion and then at a crucial point 999 or 97, use this tricky serve with the same up motion. This way you can easily trick your opponent. How to return ghost serve? Ghost serve is a pure under spin serve. This serve is also slow, so a simple rub shot can easily return this serve shot. That's why you should learn how to add side spin to your serve, which will make your serve more dangerous. I have shown you 3 tips to do this serve. Hold your racket loosely, put the elbow close to your body, rotate your body, accelerate with your wrist and add fake motion after the contact point. Now you can see my link serve in slow motion. Now you can see that everybody can do this serve. The key point is knowing how to accelerate with your wrist. And this is the SHL version of Malin God Serve. Look, he has the same national coach as Malin. I really prefer this XSL version than the original version.
That's it for today. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. See you and Rafik. Special thanks to LDB and TT Tricks for sharing his amazing footage.